going to be sharing some poetry with you today. And I just want to thank uh, Jody and Randy Bell for introducing me to Creativa. And um, my husband Bob and I are really happy to be here. Yay! Yay. First poem I wrote um, several years ago, and uh, it's called Nothing to Say. Do you ever walk into a room and see and feel the pain in the people as they walk about and talk about so-and-so's psychosis? Or spew information about whatever they know well, whatever it is they think they know well? And then they stop and move on to the next person in the muddled rotation and begin the ritual all over again. And they're palavering something about insects but you can only hear bits and pieces because the music is so loud that it makes everyone look like lips without heads. And then suddenly someone says, did you know that a lobster is actually an arthropod? And you're waiting for someone to reply with something like, I don't care. But instead they say, oh, I didn't know that. And you're just watching their double chin bobble up and down with the motion of their jaw. And then someone starts inching towards you, but their mouth begins moving before they do. And you notice the young smile, but the eyes are old, and you wonder why the eyes are old, and suddenly you find you have nothing to say. Wow. This next one is titled Patching an Old Quilt, and it was inspired by all the sociopaths that I've had the pleasure of knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone save me from this pattern. One that does not please like patchwork. Comfort has become too crowded, and interesting has begun to wear a hole on the surface of your visage, providing a monstrous gap through which a conscience might have otherwise sewn together logic and emotion. Help me avoid the habitual seam to see what forms from a new design. A span of time has passed. Note to self, don't answer the phone. Don't spin your own web with this thread. Progress appears pasted together, Silver linings are never exposed, yet something is charming. You can't deny a perpetual magnetism that has you intrigued, if not smothered. Once the texture has piqued your interest, prepare for a full-time job. Allowing this fabric to caress your skin will turn a cloak into a dagger. How can you form a bond interwoven with invisible thread? This last poem is titled, Silence is a Vibration, a Pantoon. <laughs> Silence is a vibration, pounding my vocal cords, urging an explosion, mute melody my reward. Pounding my vocal cords with breaths and odd intervals, mute melody my reward for constructing these walls. With breaths and odd intervals, I can sustain no sound. For constructing these walls, no tune can be found. I can sustain no sound, whispers never travel. No tune can be found, the wrong chords unravel. Whispers never travel, alone with my voice, the wrong chords unravel, affirming my choice. Alone with my voice, urging an explosion, affirming my choice, silence is a vibration. Mm -hmm.